How's it going, everyone? This is Wimbo again. Today I'm going to show you something regarding this kind of areas when you're modeling a cosmetic product, and uh, this is kind of small details. And but there's a there's just a lot of stuff that people don't notice when you're adding these certain level of details, and they actually make the product looks very pop. Uh, so what we can do here, we are going to start with to getting everything shut down to to start building something at the beginning all right and uh, what I'm gonna do here I can do shift a to actually adding a cylinder but to in order to make it your life easier there's some tricks that you can do here the cylinder the vertice you can choose 16 or even uh, 20 or 18 so I can just do that for for a demonstration and also sometimes you can just change that to the cap fill if usually the default is n gong and they just actually filling the the each end of the uh, the cylinder for this purpose we can just do nothing so basically now you can see we are only having a cylinder that without the, the caps so this is what we want and then we can actually put it in here and again so we can actually scale it down with z and the next thing we want to do we want to insert each face uh, to in order to getting extrusions coming out to adding some details along the side is actually uh, when the, for the product is increasing in grips when people are trying to twisting the cap uh, after we select everything right and we go to the face mode and we are going to hit I and to insert and as you can see here we are ha we are inserting every single faces along their face this is what we want but by default that you don't have that you will looks like this so when you after you hit the insert you want to open up this check window and check this individual so this is exactly what we want the next thing we want to do here we want to extrude each faces uh, outside us toward their normals right and um, but we don't if you really don't know the tricks how to do that usually if you just do hit E it doesn't really help that way so we can just uh, go with the face uh, right click uh, go to the extrude along normals so we see we can ooh, because I earlier I have done that so let's do face uh, let's do face sorry Let's go to face, right click face, extrude face along normal. So we can just kind of getting a little bit detail out of it. We can just do one first and then do another one. That actually just adding a loop cut for that for support. And then when we finish, it well looks like this. Of course, this looks very fake. And but we haven't adding a, a subsurface modifier yet. So what we can do here, we can do Control Two to adding a subsurface modifier. Added that in, and then we are going to adding some loop cut. So we can do Control R and add that, and right click and Control V to kind of bevel that. See, yes. So in this way, we can have something going on here, and uh, we can even shade smooth, make it look pretty nice and neat. And later on, what you need to do here, you can just select the top ones and to extrude along the axes and to do whatever you need to do. And for the top and then for the bottom, you can just extrude the same thing, uh, just along normal to do that. So this is a kind of basic shape of the stuff that we want to achieve utilizing today's tip and you can actually even getting some some loop cut to kind of support oops support your your geometries so that will be something that you can do later to fix it to in order to get it more details stuff done so I am personally don't like that so I'm just gonna cancel that loop cut definitely is, is a small tips small tricks that but it helps quite a bit and uh, now you can see after we have done this um, I can show you the scene camera background yes so that amount of tiny details is, looks very well with the actual render 
Uh, one trick I want to show you in case you wonder where this this cube, cube is for. This cube is just added on later when I'm doing a claim render. So what I can do, I'm just have this cube and get a, a, a regular, a just default texture. I probably let, pull it down a little bit, just make a gray and the roughness bump up a tiny bit and less specular. Well, what actually happening here is if I'm going to this what is this called? Is the view layer property? I mean, just a, a layer of images. We go to here, override. We can pick and choose the clay, the texture. What it may, basically means is that override everything in this scene to utilizing the same uh, materials like that. So if I'm click uh, the actual render view, you can see here. Yes, everything's become a clay. I kind of like that. It just kind of Sometimes when you when you're trying to show your 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 uh, your images uh, renders to uh, to someone or clients or whatever, then you want us to show there's this is a 3D made. So it's kind of a cool trick that in case you didn't know, and I just throw it out there. Okay, well, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I think this is the the this is the end of this quick tutorials and if you think this is very helpful uh, please leave a comment or hit likes and uh, my channel is all about uh, photorealistic renders regarding products if you're in, into this niche uh, please consider to subscribe my channel it's a new channel I definitely need a lot of support and uh, yeah um, if you want to contact connect me just follow me on Instagram let's chat over there thank you so much and uh, have a wonderful day Bye.